Welcome to my presentation Twitter for the college professor. In a previous video I showed how a technology professional can use Twitter to create a personal learning network and stay on top of uh, news, events, technology, findings, technical commentaries, how uh, that can be part of early problem identification. For a college professor, Twitter is of great value because it can increase time on task with students. It can serve as a reminder of current course uh, events and opportunities. And it also gives a seed for a personal learning network that a student can carry to multiple institutions and uh, into their uh, professional life. So let's start with uh, uh, the question of how do we open a Twitter account. We do that by navigating to twitter.com and just uh, filling out uh, our name and uh, email address as well as password. This is going to uh, allow us now select a Twitter login ID. It is important that the Twitter login account is short because if people uh, retweet our commentary, our tweets, they will have to sometimes edit them for length. Uh, there is a hard limit of 140 characters uh, and um, our name needs to be part of the next message in the standard retweet uh, configuration. So I will uh, choose uh, an easy to remember account. I'm uh, creating an account for uh, my teaching role. I already have an account which I use for uh, my uh, technical uh, identity and this is going to be an account that students will be able to interact with for course content. So I'll go ahead and uh, create this account. Okay, so now uh, the account is created. Twitter automatically uh, suggests certain uh, people as far as uh, uh, the information that we entered, uh, maybe the uh, login um, email, which has a domain has a domain name they try to uh, match us uh, immediately. Uh, I will skip this section and uh, we'll uh, find friends um, in other ways. Uh, so now that we have a uh, login account, we can start immediately uh, tweeting. And so I will simply say something like uh, students uh, uh, taking CO 241 at GRCC, and notice I'm using pound. Pound in front of a word indicates a tag. And it so happens that uh, tags represent subject matter. So um, I will we have a GRC tag that uh, at uh, Grand Rapids Community College uh, individuals uh, follow and uh, filter to see messages relating to GRCC. So students taking CO241 at GRCC will be using Acquia Dev Desktop with Drupal, with Drupal 7 to learn PHP and MySQL. And uh, we'll go ahead and put a URL where this uh, piece of software can be downloaded. Um, what you may notice is that links are shortened automatically. Again, we have uh, a certain amount of uh, characters we can use, and links are shortened automatically. Uh, There we go. So this is now a tweet that is uh, ready to go. We'll go ahead and uh, tweet. So now I posted a message that can be filtered for the subject matter. I could further um, uh, perhaps uh, undo it and uh, include uh, a tag, maybe something like GRCC CO, CO241. 
what this will allow me to do is uh, keep tweets for this specific class in one group so that in the classroom itself as a back channel on the projector I can have all the tweets with this particular tag appear during class. So if a student has a question that is not being covered currently in lecture, they can in, they can type in um, the question in Twitter and include the tag and it will appear in the classroom. And what I can do next is I can choose to respond to the question immediately or maybe afterwards um, prepare the answer for the next lecture or uh, answer the question directly with a student. There's a number of software pieces that allow, uh, web-based software pieces that allow the, the back channel display in the classroom. So I'll go ahead and uh, edit um, the information so that it fits lengthwise. Uh, I'll say uh, tweet. And uh, now I have uh, two messages. I'll go ahead and, and delete the first one. Now, once students sign up for Twitter and they follow us, they have the option of including a cell phone number uh, on their Twitter account so that when the instructor tweets they get a text message. In that case you can't really remove uh, tweets uh, as uh, easily because of course uh, everyone that you post gets text message to the cell phone. So what I just did was really a, uh, an oopsie that uh, should not happen. It's uh, best to prepare the, the tweet message uh, more carefully than what I have done. But because there's no one following me right now on this account, it's it's not a big deal. But the fact that students can get tweets through the cell phone text messaging system uh, means that when they're perhaps uh, uh, in their backyard, they received a message uh, about the course, they think about the course at that point, they may choose to uh, uh, engage in uh, homework activity, uh, and otherwise they get a new piece of information that relates to the course and that increased time on task uh, it increases the time that they get uh, engaged in the course so let's see how I would use this in the classroom further well this is my CO241 class in Blackboard and as one of the announcements I include information to create a Twitter account and to follow a specific user I just created the uh, GRC Prof user, so I will edit to this announcement. But we have a department Twitter account that uh, I would like my students also to sign up for. This creates a personal learning network, a seed of it. So now uh, a new Twitter account for a student can follow specific accounts that will share relevant information. And we, throughout the course, are going to point out other individuals uh, authorities in the subject matter that will be able to share information with the students even after they leave the classroom. My Twitter account uh, is also hooked into my uh, website so this is our institutional website and I have uh, the Twitter uh, account uh, post uh, information so that my website actually does have current information and the same Twitter system is fed to my Facebook account so that all the posts from Twitter are now displayed um, in Facebook as well. I also use Hootsuite which is an online uh, system which allows me to um, filter easily through the different tweets so I can see all the people that uh, somehow relate to me here is the tweet that uh, uh, we just tweeted recently. Uh, I have um, searches by uh, a word, so just the DLIT. I would like to know what's going on with our distance learning uh, office. Uh, and I also have uh, uh, other feeds that uh, perhaps uh, relate to, um, to my, my technical interests. So the bottom line is that uh, a student can experience uh, the subject matter and the findings of the instructor uh, in a more flexible way. If they do not have a smartphone uh, or a phone with text messaging, they would do that only through the browser. Uh, if they um, have a phone, well that of course increases um, the uh, freshness of the news that the instructor is sharing. So students are called back to think about the subject matter. 
uh, it serves as a reminder. Perhaps we're tweeting that the exam is coming up and uh, the students can uh, react to that. Whereas through email, a student can contact a person and ask a question, but they have to know who to contact and what question to ask. Through Twitter, they in fact are prompted with information that they don't know how to ask for. And they can find people that they did not previously had opportunity to listen to. So Twitter uh, account as a seed for the personal learning network is an opportunity for the continuing learning process and for students to be further engaged uh, through mobile technology. Well, this concludes my presentation and uh, I hope to see you on Twitter. Thank you.